A river must have a beginning, its source or headwater. Some come from springs, which draw water from below ground, while many begin high in the mountains from melted snow or glaciers. Lake Itasca in Minnesota is attributed as the source of the mighty Mississippi, although the lake itself has its own source, the glaciers. From these glaciers, snow or springs, small trickles of water flow downhill. These trickles are usually tributaries. They combine to form larger streams. There are three types of streams. Perennial, which run year-round. Intermittent, which run seasonally, like melting glaciers in the summer. And ephemeral, which only lasts for up to a few days, usually following heavy rains. As the river is born, it enters its stage of youth. These streams of water flow downhill on a moderate slope. Since the water is moving downhill on a relatively steep gradient, it flows quickly. The water is moving at such a fast rate, there is little time for water to pool up. Oftentimes, a river of youth is barricaded by the walls of a V-shaped valley preventing the river from having floodplains. As it is unlikely to reach depth, and the riverbed is obstructed by rocks, rapids form. As a result of its intense velocity, the forces of erosion focus on eroding the river vertically, rather than horizontally. The majority of waterfalls occur in youthful rivers due to the steep gradient. And until next time, thanks for watching.